and I'm Robert Tucker. We begin with a special report. Many students have received parking citations and are furious. Asia White reporting. In order to park on campus at Arabian Mountain High School, you must have a parking decal. No, I do not have a parking decal. The reason why is because it's just a piece of space that doesn't mean anything, that doesn't harm anyone. So $20 is just a waste, and my parents pay enough taxes for me to go to school without paying $20 a semester. Some students don't believe they're necessary. I feel like uh, parking decals are unnecessary because, like, we're at school. Why do we need to pay to park? Like, you know, we are, we come in to get education. So y'all should be lucky we even have a transportation to come get this education. So why do we have to pay to, to park our transportation? It makes no sense at all. You know, we come in to get the education. Why can't it be free? You know what I'm saying? We already got other stuff to pay for, like senior dues and all that stuff. But y'all trying to make us pay for a parking pass, which is almost overpriced? It's just ridiculous. Students have until September 29th to get a parking decal or risk having their vehicle registration sent to the Department of Motor Vehicles. Applications can be picked up at the attendance office. Arabia is by far one of the best schools in the district and it's due to our awesome faculty and staff. This week we spotlight one of the most talked about teachers here at Arabia Mountain High School. Here's reporter Deshauna Holmes with Teacher Spotlight. This is Deshauna Holmes reporting for Arabia Mountain News Network. I am here with physics teacher Jimmy Westbrook. So, tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is Mr. Westbrook. I'm a native of Atlanta, Georgia. Born and raised on the west side. I went to school in Atlanta, Georgia at Turner High School. Received an academic scholarship to Mississippi Valley State while I majored in science. I joined the Army as a second lieutenant. I retired from the Army as a lieutenant colonel, 23 years of active duty and reserve service. Uh, my hobbies are fishing and my favorite music is jazz. What are your goals for this year? My goal is to try to uh, help them uh, close the academic gap on the GPA. How do you feel about the accusation claiming that you fail student athletes? Do you have something against student athletes? Who said that? <laughs> Wait a minute. It's a conspiracy. Somebody put, try to put something out on me? Better athletes. Arabian Mountain, Rams, Ramettes, Ram males. Uh, I don't know for athletes. Ah, cut. <laughs> this is the Shum Holmes reporting for Arabian Mountain News Network. Mr. Westbrook sure is funny. I wish I had his class. Nike slides, Adidas, Victoria's Secret. We all have a pair. As teen drivers, did you know wearing slides have been a contributing factor to nearly 1.4 million car accidents a year? Ain't no slides can be so dangerous. Drive safe, Rams. Academics are the core of Arabia and the driving force for our students. My name is Mariah Bethea, and this week's student spotlight is on our very own FCCLA president, Jade Campbell. My name is Jade Campbell, and I'm the president of FCCLA for the 2017-2018 school year. FCCLA is a culinary-based nonprofit club that I've been a member of since ninth grade. My goal as FCCLA president is to grant you scholarships and professional opportunities. I am Mike Sisgani reporting to you live for Going Green at Arabia. Here at Arabia Mountain High School, there are solar panels to provide a healthier alternative for energy. Next time you're in class, ask your teachers to turn off the lights and open the blinds and use sun as energy. Ram Nation is definitely setting the bar high and dominating fall sports. Here's sports reporter Naya Pearson and Rio Turner. Uh, Turner here with our 
Washington girls volleyball coach, Dr. Flagan. Dr. Flagan, what's your history and experience with volleyball? Well, I've been playing volleyball for a long time since I went to undergrad and I really fell in love with the game there. So I, I was able to play intramural volleyball in college and played some club volleyball as well. Did some traveling with that. And uh, about eight years ago, I started getting involved in coaching and, uh, and played some club volleyball as well. Did some traveling with that. And uh, about eight years ago, I started getting involved in coaching and uh, just loved working with the with young people in uh, middle school and high school age, and really that kind of led me into teaching as well. I understand that, I like that. So, looking at your past years with the volleyball team compared to this year, how's your team look this year? We're a pretty strong team this year. We, we had a couple of seniors with us last year who were very strong players, but we've had other players that have really stepped up and filled in the role as well. So, we're, we're a good team. So, are there any star seniors this year? Uh, we do, and, and it's kind of an interesting thing because we have three seniors on the team. So we have uh, Ify and Odette and E. Um, none of those three have a lot of volleyball experience, uh, but they really developed very quickly in our, in our forces at the net. They are, they're good athletes and they're tall, and they are, they're good blockers and they're good spikers. So if you're history of volleyball, what is your future of volleyball now? What's our future? Your future of volleyball. Well, I mean, we have a unique situation at the school because uh, we don't have particular feeder schools, so it's hard to get volleyball programs developed in the uh, middle school that are going to feed into us. So every year is a challenging year because I'm dealing with a lot of uh, freshmen and even sophomores who don't have any experience in volleyball. So we have to train them pretty quickly if we're going to try and be, have a competitive uh, program. All right, thank you, sir. The Cab County School District has begun its phase of issuing teachers and students Chromebooks. The district is providing laptops to schools through its Digital Dreamers Project, ensuring every child has equal access to modern education. Many teachers have already received their Chromebooks, with the students receiving theirs during the next phase. Around the Arabia, you may have noticed your teachers with new laptops. The DeKalb County school system has invested $27 million in laptops for students and teachers. Here's what teachers have to say about um, I think laptops. it's a great idea for students and teachers to have laptops. It gets us up to date to the 21st century. A lot of information that the students need can be found online, um, whether we're using various apps, um, websites like USA Test Prep or Admodo, Remind. It just brings everyone to the point where the information is accessible um, and everyone has their own device. The internet is the future. It's here and now. Um, and it's very much needed in order for our educational system uh, to be number one. I think it's a wonderful opportunity. Giving students 24-7 access to technology will help them to be college and career ready and learn the pertinent skills for them to be technologically savvy. So these Chromebooks are really good um, initiatives for the county, but like we have to make sure that we have a good contingency plan in case things go wrong. It's important that all of the teachers and students have access to the most up-to-date technology. Technology is good, but we also don't want to use technology as a handicap. What I mean by that is uh, forgetting the foundation of, of how to, how to um, do research the old-fashioned way by using books. Uh, we know technology is going to be the future. It's good for the students. You get them a chance to interact and also advance that knowledge in, in the technology industry. Well, we're students and we're still waiting to receive our laptops. I'm Neil Western, reporting for Arabia News Network. Can't wait to get my Chromebook. Me either. The Green Mean Funk Machine is a highlight here at Arabia under the leadership of Ms. Monica Fogg. Here is reporter Taylor Ingram with the band beat. <laughs> Here with Miss Fogg. So, Miss Fogg, tell us about the Color Run. The Color Run is a fundraiser that is joint between the football team and the band, and it is a 5K fundraiser in which the students run around the school because we have a 5K track here. Who knew that we had that? And then throughout the run, they'll be blasted with color. And this cornstarch, color, dye, no one will be um, affected by doing that. But it's going to be a fun event that we need everybody to sign up for. What an amazing event. So sign up, Rams. It's only $30 to participate, but it goes to support the band and the football team. We definitely need your support. Here at Arabia, we are raising academically motivated students. I'm Asia White. And I'm Robert Tucker. Thanks for tuning in, Rams, and we'll see you next time.